Good day, Crime Talk aficionados. This is Scott Reich of Crime Talk, the most unbiased, fact-driven, true crime channel on YouTube. Today, we have the Photos Dulos case. He speaks. And we have an update on the Chief Eddie Gallagher court-martial going on in San Diego. Let's talk about it. Good day, Crime Talk aficionados. This is Scott Reich of Crime Talk. We hope that you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment. We do respond, and we want your interaction. We want to know what you want to talk about. The first case on the docket is the missing case of Jennifer Dulos. Photo Dulos, the father, and I think it's fair to say the suspect as it relates to Jennifer Dulos, who is out on custody on bond along with his girlfriend, Miss Traconis, who are charged with hindering an investigation and tampering with evidence. But clearly, neither one of them has been charged with the murder or the actual disappearance of Jennifer Dulos. Well, Photos Dulos had to appear in family court today to deal with issues related to child custody issues. Mr. Dulos wants to have visitation with his children and ultimately get the children back in his custody. The children are currently with Jennifer Dulos's mother, and they're in New York State. Photo Dulos's attorney, a Mr. Pattis, has yet again raised another theory. I get, as a defense attorney, you're constantly brainstorming on cases, but sharing them with the public is usually not the best idea uh, because that gives people the opportunity to try and refute it, and you take away the element of surprise if, in fact, your client is ultimately charged and you go to trial. As you may recall the other day, uh, Photo Dulos's attorney said that this was a case of Jennifer Dulos doing a gone girl, which is basically she disappeared on her own and she doesn't want to be found. Today, it's a revenge suicide theory and the theories just keep coming. I get it. Mr. Pattis is representing his client. He's doing what he thinks is best to represent his client, but you don't try to float those balloons to the general public not in today's world. So Mr. Pattis, I like the effort, but you need to keep your theories to yourself. So Mr. Photos Dulos did make a statement today and he basically said that he loves his children, that he misses them very much and that he wants to be with them. Clearly his attorney is trying to show that he is the caring dad who wants to be reunited with his children. We shall see how things develop, but as we have talked about, it's very tough to do a murder case without a body. It's that simple. Next case on the docket, an update on the Chief Eddie Gallagher case. This thing is something movies are made of. People could not write a better script. Chief Eddie Gallagher is charged with premeditated murder in the death of a uh, prisoner of war. He says that he is framed. He has retained private counsel in, in this court-martial. This court-martial is going on at the uh, San Diego Naval Base. And like I said, this is getting really good. All right. On cross-examination, one of the key witnesses, another chief, a Navy corpsman who's a corpsman with these SEALs, says that he was the one that caused the death of the prisoner of war, non-combatant, whatever you want to call him these days, not Chief Eddie Gallagher. That's huge when somebody else confesses to a murder that the defendant is on trial for. In this trial, the pathologist was also unable to determine the cause and manner of death. Once again, normally in a murder case, one of the first things the prosecutor leads with is how he passed away. What was the cause and manner of death? Was it an accident? Was it a homicide? Was it a suicide? Anything along those lines. Prosecution was unable to do that, and they have a witness saying, no, I'm the real person that should be uh, charged with uh, premeditated murder. As predicted, the judge denied the defense motion for a motion for judgment of acquittal, basically saying the prosecution has not met their burden. Uh, but the burden, uh, like in just about any um, criminal trial and a motion for judgment of acquittal, the evidence has to be viewed in the light most favorable to the prosecution, drawing all inferences in the favor of the prosecution. And it's not the judge's job to substitute their judgment for that of the jury. 
which means it's a jury question. The jury needs to decide. The defense put on witnesses today, but it's not going to be lengthy. And I anticipate the jury is going to get this within a couple of weeks. Military juries are smart, smart people. You have officers who are going to be on the jury and senior enlisted personnel, which are equal or greater grade than senior chief Gallagher. What's always interesting about the uh, military justice system, and I have experience in the military justice system as a former Marine judge advocate, is that the convenient authority, the person that says, I want this person prosecuted, is also the person that gets to pick the jury, the potential jurors. It's always interesting when you're talking to the jurors that okay, the person who's the convenient authority was, is the same person that writes or reviews your fitness report. Is that going to affect you in any way? No, it doesn't. Here's the other thing. Military juries don't have to be unanimous. The only other place in the world that doesn't have a unanimous jury is, I believe, Oregon. But in the military system, once the members start their deliberations, they'll review the evidence, they will take a vote, and it's a one-vote type of situation. If the members vote and two-thirds say guilty, then he's guilty. If there's not two-thirds uh, of the members that say that he is guilty, he is not guilty, done, move along to the next charge. Now, Chief Gallagher has a sundry of other charges that he has to deal with with posing with a deceased combatant. We will keep you apprised of those cases because they are interesting right now. That's your quick crime talk update today. We'll have more updates coming. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video and please hit that little notification so that you can be notified or any live streaming events that we do. We have some big information coming for you. Hope to have that for you on Friday. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.